shocking toll of pingdemic is laid bare. And then pictures of empty shelves, which until a week ago only Remainers could see. Uh, empty shelves in supermarkets, you had to be a Ramona to actually see them. It was like some sort of magical ocular ability bestowed only upon people who understand what's going on around them. Now, everybody can see empty shelves, but it's not the fault of the coronavirus or even the government. It's all the fault of the app, which is exactly the same app that has been in place for all of the months. Let's count backwards. June 2021, May 2021, April 2021, March 2021, February 2021, January 2021. Keith, when did the app come in? Do we remember when the app came in December 2020 November 2020 someone quickly say in my ear when the app came in before I make a fool of myself October 2020 September 2020 I, I'm getting a bit worried now I'm getting a bit worried now when did the app come in so for all of the months prior to July 2021 the app was in place and the supermarket shelves were not empty so something's changed and it's not the app so what is it it's the infection rates I'm going home now. That's all you need. These people, these ghouls who sold you Brexit, who put Boris Johnson into 10 Downing Street, are now trying to blame the direct consequences of their own catastrophic failure to understand anything and to encourage you daily to vote against your own best interest, to smack yourself over the head with a metaphorical frying pan every single day. They're now trying to blame what is happening as a result of their failure of leadership on an app. An app that was there... I'm doing it now. In June 2021, in May 2021, in April 2021, in March 2021, in February 2021, in January 2021, in December 2020, in November 2020, in October 2020, and in September 2020. It has been there for all of those months, and your petrol station was still full of petrol, your supermarket was still full of food, and there was no danger whatsoever of Brexit Britain running out of gammon. But this month, all of those problems are in place. But the app is exactly the same. So if you hear anybody trying to blame this entirely on the app, ask yourself this. Did they flog you Brexit as well? Did they encourage you to put this clown into Downing Street? Were they singing Dominic Cummings' praises this time last year? Because at some point you're going to have to wonder whether oh, there's a bit of a pattern emerging on this. And it's a pattern that involves looking you in the eye and lying to you. Whether it's about Barnard Castle, whether it's about uh, world-beating uh, coronavirus responses, whether it's about putting rings around care homes, whatever it might be, at some point you're going to have to accept, not just the politicians, but the ghouls in the media as well, they're lying to you. <laughs> 